What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Gigantamax Lapracine for Series 13. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. It only takes about two seconds of you guys' time and it really helps me grow as a content creator. Before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to Clover Bells. Clover Bells, thank you so much for making this team. I will be leaving a link to his socials down in the description below. So if you guys want to go check out his channel and his socials and get some cool rental codes, like I said, go into the link in the description below and check out his channels. But with that out the way, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Lapras over here. It's got the Water Absorb as ability alongside with the life orb as item it's rocking blizzard and freeze drive for a stab sing to put pokemon to sleep and then it's got hydro pump for another stab second pokemon is going to be zassian zassian is just top tier in series 13 one of the strongest pokemon in the game you cannot go wrong with it it's got interpret sword rusted sword as item and ability and then it's normal move set of iron head protect play rough and sacred sword Yveltal is going to be our third Pokemon, and this is one of my favorite Yveltal sets of all time. It's got Dark Aurora, alongside with that Assault Vest to make it bulkier up against special attackers. Then it's got Oblivion Wing, Sucker Punch, Snarl, and Foul Play, which is all stab hitting moves for this Pokemon. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Incineroar over here. Incineroar is still top tier in the meta. It's got Intimidate alongside with the Shuka Berry as its item, then it's Rock and Flare Blitz, Fake Out, Parting Shot, and Throat Chop for its moveset. Bottom left hand corner is going to be the Alga with Pressure and the Adamant Orb as its item. It's got Flash Cannon, Roar Time, Trick Room, and Earth Power for its moveset. Final Pokemon is Amoongus over here. Amoongus is chilling, is a nice lovely mushroom, and is a great support Pokemon for this team. It's got Regenerator alongside with the Focus Ash as its item and ability. Then it's rocking Spore, Protect, Seed Bomb, and Rage Powder for its moveset. Pretty standard team, pretty awesome squad, but before we actually hop into some battles, I want to go over the reason I haven't uploaded in the past two days. Your boy has been very, very sick. I've been diagnosed with strep throat. I have a COVID test going out right now. So if you guys don't see me uploading in a couple days. That is why, like I said, I've been really, really sick. Kind of just been chilling in my bed. Haven't been able to do too much, but I want to record a video and get you guys some content. So if you guys see me like fumbling words, maybe acting a little weird, it's because I'm still very sick and I'm a little bit out of it. But hopefully you guys still do enjoy the content. If you guys do, make sure you leave a like on today's video. But with that out the way, if you guys want to rent this code for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's hop right after it. Let's get into it. Let's hop onto that Series 13 ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Gigantamax. Series 13, Lapras team. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Volcanion team. He also has a bunch of other strong Pokemon. He's got the Kyogre, he's got the Groudon, he's got the Zacian, and then he's got Yveltal and Wimscott. So, a bunch of Legendaries and Wimscott. We definitely got to watch out for weather. He could definitely get weather, and he can get a lot of speed with that Wimscott. I could go Dialga for potential Trick Room purposes. That could definitely work out for us. Do so I want to go Incineroar Dialga? And then roll out from there and have Lapras in the back end? That does sound really, really good. I could do that. I could definitely do that. But who could he go into? He could go into Wimscott Kyogre or like Wimscott Groudon. He definitely has a lot of options. But I feel like the Alga in Cinnamor is 100% our play. We'll bring Lapras in the back end and then have Zacian for late game. Yeah, I really like Zacian. He can just do so much damage up against a lot of these Pokemon. You just can't go wrong with him. You really cannot go wrong with him. But yeah, like I mentioned in the team preview, I am very sick right now. It is really, really rough. Can barely swallow right now, so I've been eating like soups and popsicles. Like, I've been down with some popsicles. I love popsicles, but they get old after like five in a row. But they're pretty tasty. They're pretty tasty. But let's see if we can grab some wins. Maybe we could be like uh, Michael Jordan in that flu game. You guys know when he popped off? That's going to be me today. It's going to be popping off. But he's going to end up bleeding Zacian alongside with uh, Groudon. So he could dine him. Mm, it's going to be tough. He could dine him actually Groudon. I mean, Intimidate is going to work wonders here. Intimidate is going to work wonders here, but I definitely got to pick out the Zacian slot and try to pop a Trick Room. And then uh, try to get Lapras out here. But the problem would be is if he goes for a Max Quake into my Diallo slot, right? I don't think he can take me out after an Intimidate. It's not White Herb, so I really do like that. I'm just going to go for the Fake Out here. I am going to go for a Trick Room, and we're going to roll from there. Because if I get off this Trick Room, then Flare Blitz can actually take out the... Uh, the Zacian, but he swapped the Zacian anyway, and who's he going to go into? He's going to go into Volcanion. The Volcanion's going to come out here, and he's not even going to Dynamax Groudon. I guess he's just going for Blades here. Maybe he'll miss one of my Pokemon. And we have the Shuka Berry, so Shuka Berry's going to help Incineroar soak up here. And I think my Pokemon should be fine after I Intimidate. Yeah, we soak up all day. That's a solid turn for us. 
That's honestly a solid turn from us. The trick room's gonna poke. Um, I could parting shot out. I could dip out if I want to. Hmm, what do I want to do here? I don't want a parting shot. Maybe into the ground on. So we can eat up a shot and then maybe go into. I could go into roar time. Just get off as much damage as I can. Or I could just go into an earth power straight into him. I would do more damage. But I know we have the adamant orb. Adamant orb should boost. Uh, I think dragon type moves. Is dragon and steel? Yeah, boost dragon and steel type moves. What would do more damage? I think war time might do the most damage. Hmm. Maybe we could survive a turn after a parting shot. So you know what? I'm just gonna go for an earth power here. Chip up some damage on this Pokemon. He's gonna Dynamax. Who are you Dynamax? I'm kinda hoping your Dynamax is Groudon. That'd be beautiful. But I'm feeling it is Volcanion. It is gonna be Volcanion. So Volcanion is gonna get the Dynamax. That's fine. I don't really mind it. I do have Lapras, which I really, really like. I just can't go for a water move into him, which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. We'll see how, how this one plays out here. We're going to end up parting shot in here. I could bring out Zacian. I could definitely bring out Zacian. He could be going for a water move into that slot. Do we think he is? I really don't think he is. Uh, But I still want to go Lapras here. I still am going to go Lapras. I think I'm going to change up weather. And I could set up an Aurora Bell if I want to. Earth Power's gonna fly out here, and that's some big time damage. Another one will take him out. See what he ends up going for here. He goes for a Quake into who? We go into the Lapras while with the Quake. We eat that up all day. A Blade's gonna fly out here. Wow. We are sitting tough here. Hopefully, hopefully Lapras can dodge. If Lapras can dodge, that could be big. Or if one of my Pokemon can dodge. Let's see how this one plays out here. Blaze comes out here. Double connects. I think we could both eat up because this thing's minus two. We do. I have to Dynamax Lapras here, right? I have to Dynamax Lapras. This is tough, man. I'm going to Dynamax Lapras. I am going to G-Max Resonance. And I am going to look for the KO here. And then I'm just going to Earth Power on top of this. This is tough. This is really tough. But I'm forced to Dynamax this Lapras right here on low HP. I'm going to withdraw the ground on. That's totally fine. Who are you going to go into from here? I'm going to go back into Zass. And again, I'm totally cool with that. I think we can take off Volcanium with this... Uh, with this earth power here and then we can kind of roll from there that's not too bad i'll get this reward belt off and then we should have what is it like two turns left in dynamax and then i still have asking for when dynamax is out of it and i have incineroar in the back for intimidates that's not too bad it's not too shabby but yeah definitely a tough a tough start for us in battle number one definitely a tough start for us Resonance is going to come out here. Like I said, Earth Power should be able to take out that Volcanion. We do a little bit of damage, but more importantly, to get off that Aurora Bell. Aurora Bell is just so OP. It really is. It helps out your team tremendously. So Aurora Bell comes out here. We will lose some HP to Life Orb, and then Earth Power comes out here. And no, I forgot he had the Quake. Hit the Quake boost. That hurts the soul. He's going to go for a Quake here. And that's going to take out whoever he goes after. He takes out my Dialga, which I actually really like that he took out my Dialga. I'm actually cool with that. I am cool with that. But at this point, I could go into Incineroar. And I could read the Protect coming out from him. I could read the Protect coming out from him. Save my Zazzy. Yeah, we gotta save Zazzy. We know he has Groudon in the back end. Groudon's, so <laughs> Groudon's definitely so annoying. We're gonna intimidate his Zazzy. Um, we're not even gonna fake out his Zazzy slot. I think we're just gonna change up weather to water. Or to rain. But I mean, he could just swap in the ground on at that point. But yeah, I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to send it into the Zacian slot. And I'm just going to go into... Do I throw a chop? Do I flare blitz? We'll just throw a chop. Finish off this thing. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that turn. So he has a protected Zacian. We saw that from a mile away. This is exactly why we went to throw a chop into the Volcanion. And we should be able to take it out with that, right? Yep, see you later. Get it on out of here. So we get rid of his Dynamax Pokemon. I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room. Which would be huge if we can have one more turn left in Trick Room. One more turn in Trick Room could be huge for us. We can really benefit from that. So guys are just really going to do no damage. I kind of only used it for uh, weather changing. But I feel like he throws back at ground on here. Which could be rough. Which definitely could be rough. But again, if we have one more turn left in Trick Room, that could be big for us. I think we do. I think we do. I think we do. 
see he goes Kai Ogre so he's gonna keep the rain I'm gonna keep the rain and we still have trick him here so I could just geyser here um hmm what do I have in the back end this is I have another Pokemon that was my Sassy so yeah geyser I can definitely geyser into that slot uh what do I do here good party shot I kind of want to because I feel like my Zassian could eat up. And I really want that Intimidate again. He might swap. Just not. So I'm just going to party shot here. I'm going to dip back. I'm going to say Zassian can eat up that shot with this thing being minus one. And we have a Roar Veil up. Not bad. That's not bad. I'm going to force out uh, Zassian here. And I think that this uh, this Geyser can take out his Zassian. So then we're gonna have to or we're gonna force him to actually throw out Groudon and he's gonna kind of contradict himself with a uh, with the weather the so guys are gonna fire this should be able to KO right it's stab it's in the rain it does not this thing bulks it out are you kidding me Lapras I expected you to do so much more damage one absorb comes out which is huge that gives us some HP we'll take that all day and can you dodge his ass again you do not but still you can eat that up all day what's his ass going for Sacred Sword, you should be able to eat that up as well. I'm not digging that. I'm digging that. It's not too bad. It's not too bad because we still have Lapras just chilling here. We still have Lapras chilling here. Hmm. Go for a freeze dry over in that thing, and I could just protect at this point. Hmm. Do I protect? Go for the free try. This one's close. Or do I just go into the behemoth blade? I think we say we can eat up the shot. Hopefully our Zassian goes first. That'll be huge. We do go first. That's beautiful. So our Zassian goes first. We KO with Zassian. And I wonder what he's going for. Is he going for the... Is he going to heal up my Lapras? I wouldn't mind that one bit. Heals up my Lapras. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for Thunder. So he keeps my Zassian on the field. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I really am. Keeps my Zassian on the field. Keeps my Zassian on the field. He has a minus one uh, Kyogre. He's going to have a minus one Groudon. And it's going to be a close battle. He might double protect here. He might double protect. I would rather fake out the Groudon, right? I feel like Groudon poses a bigger threat here. Especially because Kyogre's in the, in the Drought now. I'm not really too worried about the Kyogre. I'm kind of worried about the Groudon more so than anything. So Intimidate comes out here. I feel like we just fake out the ground on him and we get after him. Maybe he's Assault Vested so he doesn't have Protect. So yeah, I'm just going to get right after him. I'm going to go there and I'm just going to Blade onto him. Let's do it. Let's do it. He does not go for the Protect. Cool. So Fake Out comes out. We're going to go for the Blade. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. How much damage are we doing? Take him out. Get a crit. Do me something good. No crit, but still a nice chunk of damage. Nice chunk of damage. Water spout coming out here. Can you guys soak that? You guys can. You guys can. Okay, this one. Dude, this battle's too. Alright. Um, oh, my roar bell's gone. I needed that. I needed that aurora bell. I needed that aurora bell. Uh, what do I do here? I don't like this one bit. I guess we'll go through for a throw chop. <laughs> we have the blade here. Oh, dude, I needed that aurora bell so bad. I need that Aurora Bell so bad. That might be game. Aurora Bell disappearing might have lost us the battle. Behemoth Blade flies through here. We pick up the KO here. I definitely need Zassian to survive the shot, but I don't think it can. I don't know if it can. Let's see how this one plays out. Another Water Spout coming. No, it goes for an Origin Pulse. That's going to be less damage. So you guys might be able to soak. Can you guys soak that? You guys can. Both you guys do. That's huge. That's huge. Jeans might pick up the W here. We might pick up the W. But... The only way we pick up the W is if this player off connects. We need player off to connect. And you guys know the deal with player off. It's 90 accuracy, but it never hits. It's like a 50% accuracy move. Player off might be able to do enough damage. Let's see if he can. He's going to end up protecting. That's fine. I guess he's wasting out this drought turn. It's tough. This is going to be tough. What a battle. What a first battle. How many turns left in Drought? There's still two. That Protect was kind of for nothing. So we're going to go into the Throat Chop. We are going to go into the Play Rough. Let's get after it. Please, can you land Play Rough? We land it. Can it KO? 
Let's go. Let's go. What a first battle from your boy. I'm sick, but I'm still winning some Pokemon battles. Second battle coming at you guys, and look what Pokemon we're going up against. We're going up against a Tornadus, but in its other form. You pretty much never see this Pokemon on the rank ladder, so it's going to be awesome to go up against this Pokemon. Hopefully, he brings it in here, and hopefully, we can get after it. But he's got Grimstarl, he's got Incineroar, Zacian, Groudon, and Yvelta as his other Pokemon. I feel like we should just lead the Lapras and get rolling with the squad, or we could pop a Trick Room with the Alga again. That could be pretty good because that worked out pretty solid for us. I could go Zacian. Zacian pretty much outspeeds all of his Pokemon besides his Zacian. So actually, Zacian could be good. Like, I might just go Zacian and Cinnamon. Or I could go Zacian Dialga. What do I want to do here? What does Jeans want to do here? Hmm. I mean, he could lead a fake out user, which he might do with Incineroar. So I might just lead Incineroar on my own. I'm going to lead Incineroar, and I think I'm going to lead. I'm going to lead Dialga. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for uh, the trick and pop. I think we're gonna go on the same squad. I'm liking it. I'm definitely digging it. I'm definitely digging it. But yo, that last battle, that was a pretty solid battle. It was just a great battle all around. It really came down to the wire, and I did not think I was gonna win that battle. I did not think I was gonna win that battle. He was eating up some shots, he was dropping some origin bolsters, some water spouts, and we were soaking him up with that Zassian and that Incineroar in that sun, and it legit came this close. But luckily, we were able to land that player up, do enough damage, and take out that Kai over. Again. But he goes Yveltal, he goes in with uh, Grimstarl, and I could just fake out the Grimstarl and pop a trick him, right? Probably my best bet, right? Yeah, I really do like that turn. So yeah, I'm gonna pop a trick him. I might Dynamax Dialga. Or should I save it for Lapras? Options we have. But yeah, definitely gotta fake out the Grimstarl. Not dealing with it. Not dealing with that lovely Grimstarl. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna pop a trick him. I could go into a Steel Spike afterwards. Like I said, we have, we, we have a lot of options here. We have a lot of options. He ends up protecting Grimstarl. That's a smart play. Hopefully he protects the Yveltal as well. He does. Okay, I'm cool with that all day. He double protects the fake out. That's fine. We're popping Trick Room. It's a beautiful turn for us. So, yeah, I just think I should definitely Dynamax this out of Dialga. I think I'm going to Dynamax Dialga. I'm going to Parting Shot the Yveltal and uh, Steel Spike the Grimstarl. Definitely, definitely solid play from us. So, yeah, Parting Shot that. We'll go here, we'll go for the Steel Spike. We have the Adamant Orb, which boosts Steel-type damage. We should be able to dump on the Scrimson in one shot. Unless it's holding the, the uh, what is it? The Babiri Berry. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Not bad start from us. Not bad start. See, like, when I first started playing doubles in Pokemon Sword and Shield, I always thought, like, Double Protect. It only works so sometimes, but, but, like, Double Protect and Fake Out could, uh, work really, really well. But, like, I, I found out, like, plays like this, like, Double Protect sometimes isn't a play. It's, it's usually better to, like, try to read what Pokemon your opponent's trying to fake out into. But, uh, of course, he Spirit Breaks me. That kind of hurts the soul. He Spirit Breaks me. Gets that minus one on special attack. Hopefully, we can still KO out here. Iron Shot's gonna come out here. That sucks, man. Then we Dynamax it, and then he hits us with that, uh... With that Spirit Break. Now, minus one. But I still feel like I can take him out, right? I still feel like I can do enough damage just to finish this Pokemon off. If I can, I might hit the Max Guard next turn. I don't know. But again, I still feel like I can take him out. And if, and if that's all, all the value Grimstar is getting, yeah, okay, it died. So, only the only value Grimstar got is putting my Dialga minus one. I feel like that's a win in our book. Because most of the time, Grimstar are getting off screens, are getting off paralyzes, all that good stuff. So, I feel like he got like no value out of that Grimstar. I'm cool with that. He has a snarl, and that hurts, man. That hurts right there. That snarl definitely hurts. So he ends up snarling. Special attack is down. I mean, we have Zastian in the back end. Definitely save that. He's probably going to Dynamax this up ground on here. Eh, I'm cool with that. Do I try to land a Blizzard? I don't think Blizzard can land in a Drought, right? I think it has a high chance of missing. That hurts so I could go for a Sing. 55% accuracy. I don't like that. I don't like that accuracy at all. What do I go after? I feel like I have to go after you. I do that, and then I could go into a one one. One one wouldn't be bad, just so I can get that physical attack drop. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I get some stab damage off, because I think he Dynamax is ground on, right? Yeah, so if I can kind of just like waste out these trick room turns, slowly drop a uh, physical attack on this ground on, waste out his Dynamax, I feel like my Zassian and Incineroar can come clean up. Uh, for his victory. Kind of like how they did in the last battle. Not too bad. 
I am minus two on my special attack. Yeah, I'm th I think he's just looking to snarl me again. Three shots can come out here. Maybe we can get a crit. Maybe we can do a decent amount of damage here. Eh, that's okay. Kind of a kind of an underwhelming amount of damage. He's gonna end up max quake and this thing or these guys are just gonna be boosted and being able to soak up our shots. We soak up some shots. Cool with it. I'm fine. Like I said, I'm kinda these Pokemon on the field for me are just kinda just chilling here. Trying to waste out some turns. So now they're a special defense boosted. I have two physical attackers in the back, which I kinda like. Wormwind's gonna come out here and Wormwind does a decent amount of damage. We're being minus two. And for them being plus one on special uh, defense, I like that. So we get that attack drop onto that uh, onto that Groudon, and I feel like if we just double down the Balto again, we'll be fine. But do I read a protect? Maybe I could definitely read a protect. Go for the Blizzard. Or do I go for a Sing? I'm gonna go for a Sing here. I think that could be a huge play. If we can land a Sing, that could be amazing. I'm gonna go for a 55% accuracy. I'm feeling lucky, yo. I'm rolling my dice. I'm rolling the dice here. Going for a 55% accuracy sleep move. Let's get it, Lapras. It's gonna protect the Yvelta. Yeah, I kinda saw that coming. Let's go, Lapras. Get landed here. Nope. Sing stinks, dude. One of the worst moves ever. <laughs> Actually, so low on it. Though we should be able to eat. Oh, that goes after Lapras. Lapras still eats. I'm cool with that turn. And dude, I'm super cool with these turns. I'm super cool with these turns. I'm gonna go for the Sing again. I am going to go for the scene again. We are going to uh, put his uh, ground on to minus two. And I feel like he's going to have to swap it, right? Unless we get rid of this Yabelthoff, then he's forced to stay in, which would be huge. But I might just try to get rid of this or just force it to kill on the Yabelthoff over here instead of going for a sing. I think that's our play all day. We force to kill on the Yabelthoff. Yeah, we're going to freeze try and just double down and probably more time, right? Yeah, I gotta force the kill on the Ubelto. I have to force the kill. Because if I can keep this Groudon on the field and have it minus two, and then have Incineroar come in here and make it minus three, that'd be beautiful. That'd be beautiful. So yeah, we have to force this kill on the Ubelto. We know it can't protect unless it's going for a double protect, protect. But I don't think it is. I don't think he has a Moxie to go for a double protect right now. Let's see. He withdraws Ubelto. Okay. That's not a bad turn right there. I feel like he did that to swap the ground on later. So we know his whole team now. We have Zassy in the back end. Zassy can get some work done. Freeze Dry is going to poke here. And I have Zassy and Incineroar in the back end, which aren't too bad. The Lapras is, is going to take some life orb damage. Quick's going to fly here. Take out my Lapras, please. Nope, he takes out my Diago. So Diago goes out here. And he's boosting special defense. So he has Fake Out ready to go. His Dynamax turns are over, correct? I believe they're over. Yeah, because he went for three Max Quakes and Trick Room's gone. So I could go into Zacian. I think going into Incineroar is going to be our play. And I think we Parting Shot here as well. I could Parting Shot. I think we Parting Shot right into the, uh, the ground on slot. But I think he swaps the ground on here, right? He's got to swap the ground on. So I'm going to make that read. I'm going to make that read. And should I swap the Lapras? I'm going to try to land a Sing. If I can land a Sing, that'd be nice. But yeah. I'm going to go for a departing shot here. Sonora's going to go for a fake out into my Lapras. That's cool. And I'm thinking it's going to go for a Blades here. Lapras dodges it. And we have the Shuka Berry. I cannot believe this, this ground on is staying in here. Like, look how much damage it's not doing. It's doing so little damage. I flinch. That's fine. Parting shot's gonna fly here. I'm saving my Incineroar. I really didn't think he was gonna swap it. So at this point in the match, I'm not really worried about that uh that Groudon. Right? Minus four? <laughs> Unless it gets a crit, I'll cry a little bit. But I feel like we should just target down this Incineroar. I could swap the Lapras, but. I think, I think Lapras is here to put some Pokemon to sleep and stuff. Because it is not going to do any damage. It really isn't. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to go for Sacred Sword. I'm just going to go get after it. He's got to swap the ground on. Like, come on now. Swap the ground on. You have to swap the ground on. 
I tried predicting it last turn, so we parting shot as he swapped. And then we get minus one onto the Yamelthal, and then uh, when he throws it back out, Groudon, we have the Intimidate. But I feel like that turn worked fine. Maybe he'll protect Groudon. I'm trying to land a Sing, man. 55% accuracy is hard, hard to land. It's really tough, but maybe we'll get it this turn. But a Sacred Sword should bring Incineroar down very low. Right? Groudon does protect, that's fine. I'm cool with that. I think he's going to try to Flare Blitz me up. Go for a Sacred Sword here, and we almost KO. We should double down into him. Sing's going to get blocked. I wonder what he's doing here. Is he taking me out? What are you doing here? Darkest Larry's coming in here. I'm going to take out my Lapras. I'm cool with you taking out my Lapras. Wait, he takes out my Lapras. Finally, we get rid of our Lapras. We're thriving here. We're doing really good. Our Sunlight fades. Fake Out can take out the... Uh, Fake Out can take out the Incineroar, and then we just bleed into the Groudon. I'm cool with that. I like it. Now this Groudon's minus five. He's minus five. Let me see its stats. <laughs> Rough ground. I'm still super surprised he hasn't swapped the Groudon. Like, look at this thing. He's minus five. What are you doing? He's going to hit me and do, like, no damage. <laughs> so Fake Out might, it should be able to take out Incineroar. And Behemoth Blade should be able to do a nice chunk of damage to Groudon, but as long as Groudon doesn't get critical hits, I'm fine with that. There it is. He finally withdraws that Pokemon. Oh my god, I was waiting for it. I mean, the best part about this is he's going to be forced to throw out Groudon again and set the sun. So there's the swap finally. Fake Out comes out of here. Mwah. Does that pick up the KO? Does indeed. I'm kind of scared here because I feel like this Blade's going to pick up the double KO. Wait, is he going to pick up the double KO? I mean, did we did we already use our Shuka Berry though? I feel like we did. If we didn't use our Shuka Berry yet for Incineroar, then uh, we're chilling here, because then I can eat up that shot and Behemoth Blade would go beforehand. But let me see, let me see. Did we use our Berry that is full of Shukas? We might have lost this one. Can I see if we use it? I think it was in info. Would say if we use it. Yeah, we did use it. Because, yeah, see, there's our item. We did use our Shuka Berry. All right. It's coming down this. We're going to Flare Blitz in the Drought, and we're just going to Behemoth Blade on top of that. Zassi might be able to eat it up. I mean, we obviously have a chance of dodging it as well. Behemoth Blade's going to fire. Probably do a little bit more than half. Brown's pretty bulky. And if we can land his Flare Blitz, we'll be chilling. Of course, this thing is rocking the Citrus Berry. We need to, we need somebody dot we need somebody dodging it up here. Blaze comes out here. Of course we get no dodge. He probably picks up double K over here, right? Dashing eats, but that's not gonna be enough for us. That citrus berry is gonna win in the game. That citrus berry just won in the game. God dang it, man! Good old citrus berry winning the game. Unless we get a crit, I'm down for a crit. Pokey gods want to help us out here. Do the pokey gods want to help out Jeans here? Blades is going to fly. Give us the crit. Hey, GG's. Give it to Jeans here. Oh my god, so close. We got a high roll there. We got a really high roll there. He goes for a fire punch and that's GG's. We got a real high roll there. If we got a high roll in the uh in the first blades, we probably would have won that battle. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves some winning record for today's video. Going up against a super strong team with Shadow Rider, Kylerx, Kyogre, Zacian, and then he's got Solgaleo, the Alga, and Grimstarl. So he has very powerful squad right here. He can uh, thrive in the Trick Room with Solgaleo and the Alga, and then he can thrive out of Trick Room with the other four Pokemon. So this is going to be very tough for us to play up against. Um, I could end up leading the Lapras. I feel like Lapras can do some work, but if he leads the Zacian, then we're going to have a problem. But I really don't think he's going to lead the Zacian. I really don't see it. He could definitely lead the Kyogre or like the Shadow Rider. So it makes me want to go into like Yveltal and Lapras. Or I could go Incineroar. Incineroar's not too bad. Incineroar and Lapras I kind of dig. I really am. I'm going to go in with them too. I am going to bring Zacian and I am going to bring Yveltal. Right? Yeah, it's looking pretty good for us. That's looking pretty good for us. So I'm hoping he's kind of leading like Kyogre and Shadow Rider. That wouldn't be too bad for us. That wouldn't be too bad for us. Because then he can set the rain for my Lapras. And then my Incineroar can get some work done. But we'll see. We shall see. Let's see what he does. 
So he's gonna end up leading. Dun, 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 dun. Shadow Rider and Diablo. Okay, I'm cool with that. Definitely I'm cool with that. Uh put Dynamax Lapras instead of Roar Veil. I feel like he he's got a Dynamax uh he's got a Dynamax Diablo here. There's no point of even faking out. Teammates can come out here, it's not gonna do anything. I feel like we just do we double down to uh we double down to the the Shadow Rider here? I feel like we do. It's definitely gotta be Sash, so I feel like we just go here. We uh throat chop and we get a roar bell set up here. Because yeah, he does that. So like I said, no, it would have been a waste of a move if we went for a fake out. So good call for us for not going into the fake out and we'll double down to the shadow rider and try to get rid of it. But I wonder what the is doing. The Alka probably gonna go for a quake. And that could be tough because I mean we have Shukaberry, which is really good for us. I was gonna say that that, that can normally take out an incident with no problem. It's a nice max quake. But since we have a Shukaberry, we should be able to eat up. Get rid of this uh, Shadow Rider, and we should be able to thrive out from there. That, I would believe Shadow Rider's going for a uh, Astral Barrage. And the Cinnamon can soak that up all day. And then we can get rid of him, get an award out, and kind of go from there. Then I, maybe I can get off a Parting Shot, which could be a solid turn for, from us. Just save our Incineroar for late game. Yeah, the Astral Barrage comes out here. We soak up really well. And he's going to go for the Quake into the Lapras, okay? Cool with that. So the Quake's is a Wait. Oh my god, I forgot about Unnerve. I forgot about Unnerve, of course. Of course. And he gets crit. And he gets crit! I forgot about Unnerve. God dang Calyrex. Calyrex gets two abilities. Thing's so strong. It's so ridiculously strong. Now, this thing is orbed. Got about Unnerve. I was, I was sitting there, I was like, okay, I guess he's going into Lapras with the <laughs> with the Quake. And then it ends up going to my Cinema. I'm like, wait, yo, where's my berry at? And I was like, ah, Unnerve. Unnerved that dang ability. That that ability is one of those low key strong abilities, you know. So we're gonna set up the roar bell. I am going to go into. Do I go into Zacian at this point? Or do I go into like Yabelto? It's are snarling at this point. They have a soul fest. I think I saved my Zacian. The snarl should be able to take out uh, a. snarl should be able to take out uh, what's it called. Shadow Rider, and then on top of that, we can just set rain. Do I even set the rain? I want to set the rain. I feel, like, I feel like we'll get some more value out of that. So I'm just gonna go snarl here. I'm just gonna walk here. He might even protect the uh, Shadow Rider or even swap it. You could be thinking I'm going for a sucker punch, but I am not. But I am not. Let's see what he does. Is it protecting it? That's totally fine. That's totally fine because I am going to get off the snarl before. Oh, the Alka actually outspeeds me. That's surprising. The Alka outspeeds me. Can you eat that, you melt all? You can. Cool. The Alka outspeeds me. Ooh. Spicy. That's real spicy. Now I might go for the sucker punch. Now I might force the sucker punch through. Because he probably thinks I'm going for a snarl at this point. Now I think I should go for a sucker punch because he can hit me hard. I'm gonna geyser, I'm gonna set the rain. Dynamax turns aren't really going so hot for us. And yeah, I think I just I think I just sucker punch at this turn, right? I think I just sucker punch him. Good guard, I think I just resonates. What would do more damage? A resonance or a not very effective move? I mean, they're both stab. Actually, are they both stab? Right, you're ice and water. Yeah, we'll go for a resonance. We'll chip up some more damage. And yeah, I'm going to go for a sucker punch. I'm going to force it this turn. I don't think he swaps, right? He does end up withdrawing. God dang it, man. Good play. He's going to go into Kyger. Ramps are all coming out here. Sucker punch can come out here. Great swap from him. And he's going to end up dropping quick. I could have went for a snarl there. So he's going to grant that special defense boost. That's fine, Lapras soaks up all day, and I think I really like the Pokemon that we have out on the field. I know Grip Charles rocking a uh, Spirit Break. Could be tough for us, but still, yo, a Hydro Pump can do some mean damage to him. Resonance is gonna fly. He's gonna do a little bit of damage over him. He's kinda he's beefed up a little bit. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad the Max turns. We still have Zassy in the back of the 
We would have still had our incinerator war if it wasn't for that dang unnerved ability. But uh, yeah, I could go for this thing, but I really don't want to. I think I'd rather just bump into him. I might just double down or I could snarl again. Or I can oblivion wing, which I think I'm going to do. Just to get some HP back. Just to get some HP back. Because I could definitely see uh, Grimstrong going for spirit breaks. Trying to chip off some more damage. But we do have a war bell, which is really good. Gonna help us soak up some shots. Oh, he's a fake tier guy. I don't like that. Fake tier's my Lapras. Okay, so he's targeting down my Lapras. I'm kind of cool with that. I guess for Steel Beam. I'm fine with that. I don't really need my Lapras anymore. The Lapras definitely drops out here. It's gone. <laughs> and Dialga drops out. I'm cool with that turn. I really don't mind that turn. I don't mind that turn one bit. He has Shadow Rider back. There's no way he throws out Shadow Rider, right? There's no shot he throws out Shadow Rider. With, with this Pokemon on the field. With Yvelto on the field, there's there's not a shot in the world he throws out Shadow Rider. So I feel like we just, well, we have to throw out Sassy at this point. Which I really like. Because if he throws out Shadow Rider here, he's Sassy on his own. Hmm. Okay. How do I play this? How do I play this one? I could protect Yvelto here. Take out Grimstarl. This battle's gonna be close. This battle's gonna be close. Or well, I could go after Zassian. Options. I could or I could get rid of it. I could get rid of it. I think I'm, I do not have protect on this Pokemon. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> I can get rid of the Grimstar, no problem. Ah. Uh, trying to think. I could try to double down into or this Pokemon right here. I drop a Sucker Punch into it. Or Foul Play. But if he lands that player off, we're dead. I have to go after him. I have to go after Zacian. Who does he protect? He protects Zacian? Are you kidding me? He just protected Zacian. That was a money protect. And I doubled down that Zacian. I could have taken out Grimstar that turn. I could have just dumped on Grimstar and we could have been thriving, but I double down his Zacian and he protect it. I just don't know why he, he protect that Zacian. That's tough. I think I double down into him again, right? I mean, he faked here me, but I had to force him out. Off. All right, we're gonna take out Grimstar here. He slows me down. Yeah, this Grimstar is clutching up. This Grimstarl is clutching up, so he's going to slow down my Zacian. Hopefully his Zacian goes after my Zacian. I think he might do. Is that what he's doing? No, he goes after... Ooh, we, can we eat that? We can. He didn't go for a play rough. Did not go for a play rough, so Foul Play's going to fly here. He's going to chip up some damage. He's forcing... Okay, okay, hold up. We got a shot here. We definitely have a shot here. Taking out Grimstarl. He's forcing out Calyrex. We could Sucker Punch it, but again, he probably protects his turn. But do I throw out the Sucker Punch anyway because we're on 16 health? Or do I go after this Ascian here? I feel like I have to force the, uh, the Sucker Punch, right? Even though he is going to protect. I feel like we have to, right? We have to throw it. Because if he protects, the Behemoth Blade should be able to do enough damage to take out this Ascian. But the thing is, we are faked here, which is awful. It is really, really rough for us. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go for Sucker Punch here. I can't outspeed him. This is tough. He's protecting Calyx all day. Yep, there's protect. Blah, 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 blah. Sucker Punch gets blocked, and this thing goes for Behemoth Blade. Can you go after my Sassian, please? That'd be amazing if he does, but there's no way, right? Nope, he takes out my Yveltal. We're going to take out his Zassian. Now, the problem here is, can my Zassian eat him? I don't think it can, considering we are minus two. We already fake tiered me. Which is tough, but maybe. Just maybe. We'll see you later, Zassian. But, yeah, what a third and final battle, and what a set of battles for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, haven't been feeling good. I just want to bring you guys some content. So, again, if you guys have been enjoying, make sure you leave a like on today's video.
But uh, yeah, coming out of this, we obviously want to go for Behemoth Blade. And hopefully we can eat this, but again, I don't think we're going to be able to eat this. And we're going to go one and two for today's video, but you never know. Let's see how some plays. Asher Bosch comes out here. Let's go, Zassian. Eat it up, buddy. Eat it up. Yeah, no shot. No shot, like I said. Not a bad set of battles for today's video. We went one and two with the G-Max Lapras team, and I absolutely love everything about it. We had the Alga, we had the Incineroar, you got the Yvelta, Lapras, and then you got the Zassian. All these Pokemon really thrived out, and I really like this team all around. But like I said, one and two, not too bad for being sick. I just want to bring you guys some content, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots to the video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.